<clears throat> well, we have two major projects that uh, we are working on uh, here in Montana. One is uh, our house that we currently live in, and the second is our farm project. Uh, both are going on simultaneously, although the house tends to take a back seat because for us, it's more of a renovation of our current house as we're going along. One of the decisions that we made is to uh, continually to improve this house so that we can either rent it or sell it when we're done with the, with the farm build. And so with that, we're going we're gonna to attempt to modernize the kitchen. And so today, I'm kind of just doing a uh, bit of a test. We picked out the colors that we want. We're going to do... Uh, gray for the wood cabinets behind me and we're going to do a t a white tile for the countertops. Uh, it's going to be a major event but weather has uh, certainly slowed us down uh, with the construction on the farm property. We just spent the last week with uh, sub-zero temperatures uh, which is no pleasant task to work in plus I am waiting on uh, new clothes to be able to handle those type of temperatures. So until the clothes get here, we're kind of on hold with that. And plus uh, ice and snow, it made it a little bit impossible to uh, work on the foundation. So today we'll get started with the kitchen. Financially, my goal here is to do this kitchen for under a thousand or a thousand dollars as the budget anyway. My goal is to try and do that uh, less than that. Um, so far, we're doing pretty good. Paint was only about $36, and I still have to order some of the tiles and possibly a new sink. So we'll have to see what that looks like. But anyway, that's the goal is uh, to do this for a thousand dollars or less. <clears throat> well, before I get started tearing apart the entire kitchen, and uh, starting to paint. I went ahead and am doing a test on one of the drawers to see if this is actually the color that we want or if we want to go uh, with a little bit lighter gray or darker gray. So we're just going to test this and see how it comes out. Anyway, my goal for this project is to uh, modernize the cabinets by uh, sanding everything down and repainting it. And then I'm going to redo the countertops and remove some sections that uh, we don't want on there, kind of shorten up some of the cabinets or the countertop. And then I'm going to replace it with uh, ceramic tile. Since having some practice with doing ceramic tile in the shower, I think that the countertops will uh, come out pretty nice, but that is going to be phase two. My first phase here is to get the cabinets done. It's a slow process. Uh, the sanding is taking uh, quite a bit. There's a lot of old varnish on these uh, cabinets, and then getting through the stain down to a paintable surface has been a little bit of a chore, but slowly making progress, and it's going to, uh, going to come out pretty nice. A few of the drawers are done. And so we're starting to move on to the cabinet faces and the doors uh, as we move here through our first, uh, first bit of painting.
Yeah, the cabinets in the next house are going to be stained. And they're not going to be painted. Don't you do it. Oh. 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 You're a smudger. You ain't helping. Well, today I finally uh, brought the uh, whiteboard out here to the shop to put it up. It has played a uh, crucial role in uh, getting us to Montana. So we're gonna bring it out here to start tracking our tasks out here. It's a pretty vital piece of equipment. Believe it or not, and so we'll uh, we'll get it put up and start utilizing it. Well, we got the whiteboard up and now uh, we'll start drafting all of our projects on it. That way we can, I can show you where I'm at and what I've got going. It also allows me to do step work ahead of what I need to do because while I'm working on one task, there might be 10, 11, 12 down the road that I need to actually keep an eye on and, and plan for. A perfect example of that is all the earthwork. So there's several different earthwork projects that need to take place and I'll track all of those so that way when I order the equipment, I uh, know exactly what I need to do and when to do it. My land, you took my papa, and now it's time to give. One thing that's kind of cool is that the uh, shop back actually fits into the back of the sander. It's a nice part about having rigid products from Home Depot is that they work together that eliminates a lot of the dust from the sanding and has really helped out as we uh, continue on with our kitchen remodel. Little by little, we're making some progress. I've got about uh, half the kitchen ca uh, cabinets done, and now we're moving on to the uh, back half over here. Uh, the hardest part is uh, sanding off all the old varnish. That, that stuff is on there pretty thick. Some of it's kind of crusty, so you just got to take your time and make sure everything's sanded correctly and looks good before we start painting. But uh, we'll continue on. Yeah, it's pretty amazing what uh, a little bit of paint has done. It actually has brightened up uh, the kitchen and the entire house. So it was a good choice on the color, and it's coming along pretty nicely. 
just have a little bit to go and then we'll be uh, done with phase one of the kitchen. Well, we managed to get the entire uh, cabinet and, ki and the kitchen redone. It turned out pretty well, a lot of sanding, and uh, it made it a little bit trickier to do uh, painting indoors with the windows all shut, but that's working inside during the winter. Anyway, we opened things up and managed to you know, work through the process uh, using the uh, vacuum and, the, and attaching it to the sander sure cut down on the dust. Although we had a little bit, it was uh, not as much cleanup as I originally had thought, so that was a big thing. Anyway, we are uh, done with this phase of it, and the next piece that we're going to be doing is uh, tearing out the counters that we've got and uh, replacing those and then uh, tiling that. So that's, stay tuned for the next phase of the kitchen remodel. Uh, that'll be coming up here shortly. Anyway, if you like this type of thing, please remember to like and subscribe, share these videos, and uh, comment below. It really does help the channel. Anyway, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.